The connections for recovering the hydrocarbon fridging from the system are identical to any other recovery process. We're going to connect to the high side and the low side through a standard two-port gauge manifold to the hydrocarbon recovery machine and into the cylinder. The consideration we have to make with the recovery cylinder is the density difference that we've already discussed outside of this video. In our case here, this standard 10 kilogram recovery cylinder will take 4.5 kilograms of hydrocarbon refrigerant. The Caresaver hydrocarbon recovery machine doesn't have an on-off switch. It is powered directly from the 13 amp socket and we must ensure that that extension cable is switched remotely outside the 3 metre working zone. In our case here, the machine will be plugged in and you will switch it on and off from the wall socket which is outside of a potentially flammable zone. When you come to connect the equipment, please note that the recovery machine already has some residual hydrocarbon vapour in it so it doesn't need purging. What you will need to purge is the gauge lines out to the connection to the recovery machine. It is perfectly safe to purge hydrocarbon refrigerant, you just need to bear in mind you are purging a potentially flammable refrigerant, so it needs to be into a well ventilated area away from any sources of ignition. When the care saver has gone into low pressure mode and has run the system into a vacuum for approximately five minutes, we need to stop the recovery machine, isolate the gauge lines and backfill the system from its vacuum up to a slight positive pressure of about 0.1 of a bar with oxygen-free nitrogen. 